Last year, red hot comedian Joe Coy sold out 11 shows at the Blaisdell Concert Hall. Well, he's back in town now, and he's moving to a bigger venue, the Blaisdell Arena. Four sold out shows start tomorrow. He stopped by KHON this morning and spoke with Bridget Namata. Bridget, what did he tell you? Well, there are some things you just can't forget, Joe. And according to Joe Coy, he's traveled all over the world, but he has a special place in his heart for Hawaii and you, Joe. Joe Coy can't forget Joe Moore's reports last year when he announced the comedian sold out 11 shows at the Blaisdell Concert Hall. Joe Coy is performing at the Blaisdell Concert Hall in November. I put him twice on my Instagram. I, know. I think the guy's amazing. It was such a cool thing. It was such a cool post. And it's not just Joe he loves. First of all, who doesn't love Hawaii? Like, first of all, you know, if you don't love Hawaii, then something's wrong with you as a person. When I walked off stage last year and, and the security guards would hug me and say, we claim you, bruh, I got so emotional. This is hands down the best fan base I've ever had, ever. I knew right then and there, I was like, I have to bring this special to Hawaii. That special is a Netflix special he's taping on the Saturday and Sunday shows. Cell phones won't be allowed in the arena, and you could get kicked out if you're caught. But Joe says he'll make it worth your while. I want to show the world what, what kind of love this, this, this place has to offer. I mean, this is, you know, Aloha is real, right? Like, if I can just show it on this, on this big platform, um, that, that'll be special to me. Joe Coy is pretty coy about what people can expect at his upcoming shows, but he was candid about his favorite Filipino food, his sister's shrimp mongo, which he might reward himself with after selling out the Blaisdell Arena four times. You can't feel your own shrimp. I can, but it takes too long. I just want to get to the meat. So, and my sister, my sister spoils me, so she knows I'm the baby, so, so she peels my shrimp. <laughs> I'm in my 40s, and my sister still peels my shrimp. <laughs> His only regret before leaving KHON this morning was he didn't get a chance to meet you, Joe. Oh, isn't that sweet? I may just have to pop in by his dressing room and say hello this weekend. Joe Coy has also been busy around Oahu. Today he visited a young boy with cancer, whose story we told you about a few weeks ago. Javis Elar has a rare form of brain cancer. He's also a big fan of Joe Coy. His aunt heard that Coy was coming to town and reached out to him to film a video for Javis, but he decided to meet him in person. So he came walking in, and Javis's face just lit up. It was like the biggest smile. He's so happy. The family is super happy. His mom, who's my sister-in-law, could not stop laughing, even like 20 minutes after Joe Coy left. <laughs> and it's so awesome, because I haven't seen these two like smile and laugh as much as they did today. And she says Joe Coy played some card games with Javis. And he even gave Javis an all-access pass to his shows. I'm telling you, Joe Coy is for real.